Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, Mexico has been a target of Trump since he first started running for president. He described Mexicans as murderers and rapists. He has imposed tariffs on their goods and currently is blaming them for the problems that we are experiencing at the border. His campaign motto was that Mexico would pay for the wall he wanted to build. That was simply a lie. Mexico was never going to pay for it. There is even a recording of a phone conversation between Trump and the Mexican president where Trump pleads with the guy not to mention that Mexico won't pay for the wall because it will make him look bad. The Mexican president refuses. And right now it's not Mexicans who are trying to come across our border. It's Central Americans. People from countries that Trump cut off aid to, by the way. Now, there would still be people coming from those countries if we were giving them aid, but it would be less. This is just another example of Trump's unique ability to find a problem and make it worse. So Trump has been threatening to raise tariffs on Mexican goods if they didn't do something to stop the flow of Central Americans coming to the border. And finally, Republicans in Congress had had enough. They warned Trump not to do it. They even threatened to vote to prevent it. And they could create a veto-proof uh, majority if they did that, which would make Trump look bad. So Trump announced that he had reached a deal with Mexico and the tariffs would not be imposed. But just as Trump was about to take a victory lap, the Mexicans spoke up. Nope, they said. There is no deal. This is something Trump likes to do, create a crisis and then pretend that he uh, has solved it. Don't forget, Trump took us to the verge of war with North Korea and then pretended he had reached a deal with Kim Jong-un. But the truth is, is that nothing has changed over there. Kim is still developing nuclear weapons and missiles and... Nothing that Trump has done is preventing that. It was, it's pretty obvious that Kim played Trump for a few, fool. Trump has also created a crisis with Iran. Iran's not backing down. And now Russia is creating incidents between our ships and theirs as a warning to Trump. What's really going on is that Trump is incapable of developing a coherent and strategic foreign policy. So he lurches from fake crisis to fake crisis and then pretends to solve them. That worked for a while, but it's not working anymore. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But... There are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on them. So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.